Hey guys, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today we're going to be doing the if we lose a game, the video ends. Let's get into it. So I apologise for my slightly weird combo, because I'm currently farming, so don't judge it. But yeah, if we lose a game, the video ends. Should be quite interesting, I've never done a video like this before, so quite excited to see how this goes. So currently I'm farming for special power up, because on my marina top, it came with the marina amiibo. I got two special power-ups, and, well, I, it was too tempting not to try and farm it, so that's currently what I'm going for. But it was really tempting to not farm it, because on the top that I'm currently using, I got two special power-ups in a row. So it was tempting just to turn this top into my farm top, but no, I'm going with the marina top, and hopefully I'll get it done relatively quickly, considering I got about three last night, so it shouldn't take me too long. Didn't get anyone with that, which is slightly annoying. This is my first game on, by the way, so I do apologise if I'm not playing the best. So someone just got splat down here, so I'm just going to immediately rotate to it. Oh, if I wait for them to come back out their ultimate. Make sure they have no way to get away. They were expecting that. Got two of them. Now the suction bomb is a little bit annoying because they come out of nowhere each time. Got you. Hello there. Hello there. I'm getting slightly more aggressive when it comes to pushing people that are on high ground. Because I never used to do it. I used to just stay back. But I'm trying to get more used to it. What was that ultimate? <laughs> Got one. Got a wipe out. Only me and my teammate with the Julius left. Got splattered right when the game ended. That's unfortunate. Well, luckily, we won this, so we don't have to end the video. Let's go to the next game. Let's go. So if you guys hadn't noticed, this is a challenge video. We're finally adding another video to the playlist. If you haven't seen the last one, check out the playlist. It was quite a long time ago. My strategy is I always try and throw an auto bomb out when I spawn because then I get the ink coverage from that and the ink coverage from me. So it's kind of just useful. I've never used Roof Slider on this map before so I was slightly unsure about how that would work there. Hello there. Hello there. plan is to be semi-aggressive. If I get engaged by more than one person, I might try and dip. But as long as there's one guy, I might be able to take him. Like that. I'm going to fall back now, though, because... I don't really want to take on that guy when he respawns, because he'll have the high ground and invincibility. 500 ink, or 600 rounding. It's quite good for this stage of the game. That's a bit toxic. All my friends are toxic, all ambition this. This is bad. Oh, got both. 
Are you coming over? That wasn't fair. <laughs> All my friends are toxic. Are you coming over? Yep. You know what? Now I think it would be a good time to dip. I don't get stuck in the ink there. So my ink didn't go up as fast as I would have liked it to, but that's fine. I 100%ed story mode print. Well, maybe not 100%, but I've completed all kettles with every weapon possible to do it with, and I've completed the final kill. So I count that as 100%. I may not have found all the food tickets or anything like that, but I upgraded all my hero gear. I completed every kettle with every weapon. So I count that as pretty much 100%. I just, oh, I tried to use my ultimate there. I think we won. So I don't think we'll have to end the video or not. Yeah, we won. We don't have to end the video. <laughs> Next game. I'm gonna drop over here. I could like stay with this guy with the sniper the whole game. If any he like he would do long range fighting and I could just stay near him in case he gets targeted in any way. Oh no, that's bad. Run! Run sniper guy, run! Hey, oh no. Oh, I really don't like those things. I don't like that ultimate, the wave breaker. I really don't like it. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, three, two, one. I really didn't like them in the secret kettle because that was just really. I I did not like that. They were just the oxlings kept placing them and yeah, not it. It was annoying. Okay, we're good. No more spoilers. Oh, that was, that was clever. The mine was clever. We've actually had quite a few variations of solo mode now. But strangely enough, I think one of my favourites was the first one. Like, just the final battle was amazing in the first one. But Octo Expansion was incredible. And I'm not, I won't talk about the final battle or anything about Splatoon 3 1 because. It hasn't been that long since this game come out, came out, so. It may or may not just be me that grinds solo modes. <laughs> I did not expect to win that fight. Oh, that's unfortunate. He had some range on that gun. Someone's landing up there. Might as well engage with them. You here? Oh, you're down there. Are you down there? Oh, yeah. I think that might just be... Yeah, I, th I think that was just a completely different guy. Nice, good job. Alright, really have to engage with people here. Oh, no. Come on, we can win this. Did we win? I'm not sure if we won or not. Um, yeah, I don't think we won. Yeah, we didn't win. Okay, see you later, bye.